Okay, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse <laughs>
right. <laughs> the show is hard to sing. I almost feel like I'm supposed to be doing this. <laughs> is that like the hip, the hipster thing to do? The beatnik. <laughs> yeah, the, the beatnik, beatnik uh, poet has. Are we pulling off the beatnik thing? <laughs> <laughs> the show is hard to sing. None of it. My name is Ralph Litwin, and with us today is Jen Chapin. Welcome to the show. Thank you. With her budget band, <laughs> Stefan Crump. Welcome to the show, Thank both you. of you. Nice to have you on. <clears throat> yeah, I make I make cheesy jokes about it being budget band, but actually it's just turned into a thing, this duo thing, and a lot of people really respond to it. They say they prefer prefer it to the full band, which usually has <clears throat> drums and bass and guitar and keys and saxophone, but a lot of people like the toned down, yeah. naked thing. It's, they're <laughs> both nice. I enjoyed yeah. both both things on the recordings. Oh, cool. So let's t tell people a little bit about you. You've performed at the Bitter End, the Mercury Lounge, CB's Gallery, the Fez, the Living Room, Town Hall, and the Bottom Line. And uh, you've been at Sundance Film Festival, and you've been a supporting act for Amy Mann and Bruce Hornsby. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, those are mostly um, New York venues, and we're starting to get, get more things outside. Going on a big, a glorious tour of the Midwest this summer, <laughs> just the duo. Hot spots like uh, Dayton, Ohio, and Flint, Michigan. And <laughs> might get down to West Virginia. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. Uh -huh. and We've been to some more glorious locations with this format, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we've... we've we actually, the Sundance um, Film Festival that you mentioned, that was one of the first times where we really got to dig in with the duo. It was, um, it was a thing that was, they were marketing uh, it as a, come listen to some hot new songwriters that you can afford, you know, for the, <laughs> for the, the independent filmmakers, uh -huh. you know, to, to, who are looking for music for their films. So that was a, but it was a really great experience because you're know, used to playing in, in a, bars, you know, smoky bars at night, and this was kind of a coffee house vibe, which, um, you know, people were, you just had to compete a little with the cappuccino machine fuzz, but otherwise it was like, you know, people were really zoning in on the music, so it was nice. Cool. And your music has made it onto some film soundtrack, yes? A little bit, a little bit. Um, there's a great film that was actually put together by a friend of mine um, called Fresh Cut Grass, and it just debuted at the Hamptons Film Fest, and he's now trying to get the rounds of more festivals and talking to distributors. And uh, Stefan actually wrote an instrumental piece for it as well. But um, I wrote the, the driving off into the sunset, the end credits song, which was a really great challenge to write something specifically for a story. It was fun. Not be too literal, you know. Uh-huh. I bet. Well, let's hear some more music. Cool. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a song called I Could Fall in Love with You. Where I wouldn't get too greedy I leave riches still to find If I could meet you all over again But this time I didn't hide To you every last little part of me Laid all the games aside I could fall in love with you I could fall in love I could fall in love with you I could fall in love with you If I work 
close enough to talk to you If I could soothe your worried head I would be so grateful if you would just let me in I'd give you peace instead If I could take the challenge you offer Well then I would meet you on the way Then our worlds would dance around each other And we'd still have so much more to say could fall in love with you I could fall in love with you I could fall in love with you could be the answer to my questions and you you could open up my eyes Well maybe, maybe someday Baby we could happen We could happen With no compromise I could fall in love Fall in love with you. I could fall in love. I could fall in love with you. I could fall in love. <laughs> it's a great sound too, very unique sound just with the bass and the voice. Yeah, it's kind of nice to, to show up. I mean, the people always say, where's the guitar? <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of nice. There's, there's, a, there's enough guitar strumming in the world, I think. <laughs> well, well, I don't know if there's quite enough guitar strumming in the world, but, yeah, maybe but this right. is nice. <laughs> We should uh, tell folks how to get in touch with you and find out about your performing schedule and uh, where they can find out information about these recordings that you have. You have uh, Jen Chapin and... That has that song we just played. That's that good information. Mm -hmm. This is a compilation that you have one song on. It's actually the first song we played, actually, Gold. Gee, we're covering all the bases Yeah, we here. are. It doesn't usually work like that. And this is, I can't read the title. Jen yet. Chapin Live at the Bitter End. Oh, so nice. it's a live CD with a full band, and uh, it's quite an energy. It's not quite as meditative as this scenario <laughs> in here. It's a little bit, it's intense, but it's fun. It was, you know, that's sort of my home base in New York, so we decided we should document it. Nice home base. Yeah, it's a good place. It, it, has, it has its uh, drawbacks, but it's like, it's, it's a family. It's a family and it's got history, which is more than a lot of clubs can say. For sure. So folks can go to www.jenchapin.com mm -hmm. and they'll get all that information about where you're performing next and how to get information about the discs and so forth and links to other sites. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that one disc is on another site. This mm -hmm. one is. And all the proceeds for that CD go to World Hunger Year. 
Well, that makes a nice segue to talk. Mm -hmm. What tell us what is World Hunger Year and how did, how are you involved? <coughs> World Hunger Year is a New York-based national organization that uh, focuses on self-reliance-oriented solutions to hunger and poverty. So it's about moving from charity to change and um, empowering people and empowering communities. And um, it's really, it's a great organization to be involved with because you basically just hear about these great stories of what people do that otherwise, you know, otherwise you just get the bad news. And World Hunger Year is about spreading the good news and letting the good news replicate itself into more good news. So it's a great organization. And um, I got involved with it kind of just by birth because my uh, parents were, were active in founding it and uh, my dad, Harry, who was a musician as well, um, who many people remember for his uh, song, Cats in the Cradle, um, he became really involved, you know, starting to build success in his career and feeling like, well, great, but, and I think some pestering from my mother. It's like, <laughs> well, so, big deal, you know, and uh, he started to feel like he wanted to get involved with something more meaningful, and hunger struck him as just the, the most obnoxious thing to have in a world where it was completely unnecessary, where there's plenty of food to go around. Really? So, that was uh, where his focus, he was involved in a lot of other issues as well, environmental issues and political issues and human rights and things and arts, and um, so I, uh, grew up sort of always being connected with World Hunger Year and just as time went on, my own interest really gravitated to the work there. So it wasn't an obligation as much as, you know, an attraction. So it's, um, I'm on the board there and I've been getting more and more involved with their work. Cool. My wife and I saw your dad in concert a couple times. In New Jersey? In, yeah, the community theater in Morristown, New Jersey, oh, close cool. to here. Mm -hmm. He was unbelievable. Did really he have his great. band or is he solo? Uh, with the band, with mm -hmm. the viola and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. Great performer. He had a lot of energy. <laughs> he really projected out to the audience. Yeah, a lot of energy. That's the tallest order to live up to more than anything else. Yeah. I've got an interesting statistic riding around in my head about hunger. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a group called uh, the World Game Institute out of Philadelphia, and mm -hmm. they put these statistics together. Uh, for a little bit more than 50% of uh, what Americans spend on dieting, everybody in the world could have enough to eat. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Well, I've heard also that about 800 million people in the world are underfed, and about 800 million people are, no, Yes, 800 million people are over overfed. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, we want to tell people how to get in touch with World Hunger Year. Mm -hmm. www.worldhungeryear.org for more information. And uh, you go there and they'll send you information or you can, I'm sure, sign up online mm -hmm. or any, any Yeah, the, the website there. is just, um, it gets better and better, so it's a useful resource for people. There's also a toll-free number, one 800 Five hungry that for you um, non-internet people who I'm always happy to meet <laughs> it's like, it's somebody's got to resist <laughs> the inevitable really <coughs> how about another tune great what do we have uh, this is a song that uh, we'll say it has some political undertones if not overtones but we'll let it speak for itself Rage 
melt away It seems that life is so much easier that way We are passive people There's a lot that we can take Our hearts will dry up before they break No questions asked, just invisible lay The riches climb dime by dime So happy that we finally got it made So the dollars aren't so evenly sprayed around But maybe, yes, I'm sure they'll trickle down We have heaven sent, good intent We cry for lonely people at the movies We feel their pain we storm the streets, but then it starts to rain. It begins to rain. We are passive people at the end of the day. We let the outrage melt away. It seems that life is so much easier that way. This is like totally off the wall, but have you ever heard a song about Mr. Crump? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 campaign, the campaign song written by W.C. Handy. Mr. Crump don't like it. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my great grandfather's first cousin, <laughs> E.H. E. Crump, who's the uh, political boss of Memphis, where I'm from. No uh, kidding. Back, well, but not when I was around <laughs> yeah in the Back early in the early part of the last century a little piece of musical history yeah <laughs> we got to cover that too yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i remember it's a pretty funny tune apparently he was a funny guy yeah <laughs> yeah i think he was a character cool well let's see we have uh i'm subtracting backwards about three minutes, so I guess it's time to do our little number. So I want yeah. to thank you. Our closing number. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you. Best of it's luck fun. with your music and your careers. Have fun. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Ralph.
men that I've found But of all your flavors The sweetest to me Is the way you let me just be Well, I didn't know What I was looking for Until you put this taste in my mouth Fill me up till I didn't need more You might find me nasty Flavors the sweetest to me is the way you let me just.